Do you know, I really, really like listening to podcasts. Now, some presenters are absolutely amazing at conveying information or having that discussion. Others, not so much. Well, what if you could have podcasts created just for you on the subject matter that interests you? Let's start by listening to an example of such a podcast. Here we have a podcast all about AI prompts. Let's listen to about 10, 15 seconds of this. Ever tried like having a conversation with AI and it's like talking to a wall or worse, like it goes off on some tangent about something totally unrelated. Sounds a bit like a culinary conundrum you're describing getting a history lesson when all you wanted was a simple pizza order. <laughs> right. It's like, come on. You guys are supposed to be these brilliant AI minds. You can write me a symphony in five seconds, but can't follow a simple conversation. What we just heard there was a very short snippet of a custom-built podcast. This was AI having a conversation with AI on subject matter that I gave it. So let's go ahead and build one of these podcasts together today. Now, the tool we'll use for this is called Notebook LM. That's still experimental, is by Google, and you can access it by going to notebooklm.google.com. Now, once you're here, what you'll want to do is you want to create a new notebook. As soon as you've created a new notebook, you are going to be prompted to add your sources. Now, your sources can be PDF documents, research papers, website links, articles, anything you would like to feed into this notebook. Now, all this subject matter will form a corpus of information and that will be used to then prompt the AI. Now, you're going to create and train this AI on just the information you feed it. So the great thing about this is that you can feed in all your text or study documentation and then you can ask in that documentation certain questions. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I've got a number of resources or sources prepared here at the top. So first of all, I've got this little article on what is instructional coaching. So I'm going to just add in that link and click on the websites and I'm going to paste the URL, insert that first source. You can see here on the left hand side, the source is being pulled in. I'm now going to click on the plus icon, add in a second source. I have another article on instructional coaching. I'm going to add in that website again, paste the URL, add in a second source. Let's keep this going. Let's add in a third source. This time we're going to add in this PDF from the EEF. This is the Educational Endowment Foundation with some solid research. This is all about effective professional development. So let's go ahead and download this PDF so we can add it in. There we go. We'll download this PDF. And then we'll do the same with this one, which is another article on educational leadership by Jim Knight, who talks a lot about the different coaching styles. Let's go ahead and get this document ready as well. We're going to go back to our notebook LM and we're going to upload these two files. So let's just drop them in here. There we go. Add in another file and let's drop it in there. We now have two PDFs, two articles. Let's keep adding to this. We have another article written by Jim Knight, why teacher autonomy is central to coaching success. Go ahead and add this article into our notebook as well. We're going to add the link to this article. It's going to get all that information. And then finally, the three models to approach coaching. Here it talks about facilitative, dialogical, and directive coaching. We obviously want to add that into our notebook as well. So there we go. Now you can see here at the bottom, as we are adding sources, it tells you the limit of sources. You can add up to 50 sources in a single notebook. At the moment, I've added six. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to just leave it at that. Now here you can see on the left-hand side an overview of our sources. Now we can untick these if we do not want them to be used for the AI responses, but I'm going to select all sources. On the right-hand side, you can start prompting these sources, so we can now interact with these sources. But what I'm looking for is a podcast that discusses all the content in these sources. So let's go ahead and generate this. Here on the right hand side, you'll see we can generate an audio overview. It's going to be a deep dive conversation with two hosts in English about all these sources. So let's go ahead and click on generate. Once I've done that, it's going to start going through the source material and it's going to generate that podcast conversation about the content. 
This can take a few minutes, I would say about one to two minutes, depending on the number of sources you've added into your notebook LM. Now, what this means for education is you can generate micro learning from sources in a podcast format. Not only is this a great way of spending those in between moments, let's say you've got an extra five to 10 minutes free, you can just listen to a conversation between two hosts on a subject that you are researching or on a subject that you are learning. Now, this could be part of your teacher professional development. Maybe you share this out with your staff. Maybe you're dealing with certain issues in class. You've done a bit of research on how you can resolve these. Well, pop them into a notebook LM, create an audio overview and listen to that conversation. Another example I can think of is professional development for your colleagues. So let's say that you have your whole school focus and this focuses on EAL learning. Well, then you can create notebooks with lots of EAL research-based evidence and create these podcast discussions. You can then share these out weekly. They're about 10 minutes long and your staff can listen to them. These are neat little snippets that will keep that conversation going. And as you can see here, we now have our finished audio overview. It's about 10 minutes. So you can see here 10 minutes and 33 seconds. Let's have a listen and see what it came up with. Remember that teacher who just got you, the one who could make even the toughest subjects engaging, who pushed you to think differently, and maybe even inspired you to become a better version of yourself. I bet you do. We all have those educators etched in our memories. And wouldn't it be amazing if every teacher had the support they needed to unlock that kind of potential? It's pretty good. Let's fast forward and see what we can find here. Let's go to two minutes, 46 the ingredients for a truly transformative coaching relationship. Think about it. Equality, choice, voice. Those are the cornerstones of any genuine partnership, right? Mm. It's about recognizing that teachers have valuable insights and expertise to offer and that the best solutions emerge from a collaborative process, not a top-down approach. Makes sense. And then there's reflection and dialogue. Coaching isn't just about receiving feedback. As you can hear, it's an excellent podcast discussion. It's going back and forth between the two hosts. It's fully AI generated, but there's no hallucinations here because it's based on that corpus of information that I fed it. I gave it the articles that I wanted it to use. I gave it the research documentation that I wanted it to base all its discussions on. So this is an incredibly powerful tool. Let me know in the comment section below how you might use this. Will you use it with your students, parent body, colleagues, how might you utilize these micro learning opportunities or the custom generation of podcasts in your own learning journey? I hope you found this helpful. I just want to say a quick thank you to all our channel members and Patreon supporters. You make it possible for me to make this content each and every week. Now, if you prefer to see these videos completely ad free and early, then Patreon is the place for you to be. And you'll find that link in the description below. I will also upload the full podcast generated here on that coaching model. So if you have an interest in listening to the full version of this, then you will find that link as well. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.